Jeff Tamor here. Um, today I want to speak with you about uh, CAC's adjustable bow roll. Today is uh, mostly an instructional video about bow rolls. Um, CAC manufactures an adjustable bow roll, but really what I'm talking about here um, will go for almost any bow roll out there. Um, and the adjustment is uh, a nice feature, but even fixed bow rolls operate on the same principle as uh, the adjustable bow rolls. But um, I want to speak with you about a couple things about what I'm going to show you on this uh, machine I call our, our YouTube machine. Um, I call this our YouTube machine because this machine is built, we built this machine just to demonstrate all of our uh, web handling equipment. Um, what this machine is not, it is not a slitter. So I'm not going to slit rolls and show you perfectly slit rolls. It's not made to do that. There's several reasons for that. This machine, number one, this machine is a, a, a what's called a pull-through machine. So there is no divorcing of web tension between the unwind and the rewind. Whenever you uh, uh, slit and rewind materials, you will definitely have different tension zones to do that. Um, in addition, this machine is locked core winding, so there's no uh, differential winding. Usually with almost any slitting application, you have differential winding. Um, another thing is this is a, a, single, sh a single rewind shaft. Oftentimes, uh, slitter rewinders have duplex rewind shafts where it's one up, one down. So uh, there's no web guiding on this machine. There's no tension control on this machine. It's all manual. So really, this is not a slitting machine. So I just want to let you know I'm not, I'm not here to show you that. What, what I'm going to show you is how bow rolls operate and will separate slit widths and, and also, it's the same concept for taking wrinkles out of material. I will do a separate video showing um, the anti-wrinkle properties or, or bow rolls taking uh, wrinkles out of material as well. But today I'm going to show you how bow rolls operate to separate slit widths. Another thing I'm going to show you briefly is CAC's slitting assembly. Um, this is CAC's inline slitting assembly. This, again, this is not a slitting machine, but we will sell these assemblies um, to fit other machines if you want to add slitting to your machine. And I'm just going to show this to you briefly um, because most, most of this video I'm going to be talking about how bow rolls work. So what I'm going to do is start this up and right now we're not doing any slitting. We're actually rewinding onto a, a single core and it's going to be a solid web. It's not slit yet. I'm going, this machine runs very, I have it set to run very slow. So it's pulling the material very slowly. I'm actually going to slow it down a little bit more. Um, what the machine, what the material looks like is it's a uh, cardboard material that is relatively thick. So look, this is a sample of the material. So it's, it's pretty thick. You can see it's pretty thick cardboard material, paperboard material. That's what's running up here now. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn the slit around, and you're going to see these knives slit. Now what we're doing here is we're crush cutting. So we're actually cutting. I was it's score. Most people call it score cutting, crush cutting. I always describe it to people like it's a. It cuts like a pizza cutter. So these top knives are actually crushing the web against a hardened steel anvil roll that's underneath. These are air loaded, there's air cylinders on top, they're pressurized, and they, they push against the web hard enough to cut through. So now these, these lanes are all slit. So you can see how those are slit. Now this is a bow roll here. Now one of the things right now, this bow roll, this is an adjustable bow roll, so it's not, there's no adjustment, it's not doing anything to the web. But the one thing I want to show you is that you do actually have a little slit separation here. And that could be due to rolls um, not being parallel to each other. It could be inherent camber in the web. Sometimes webs have um, uh, a tight side, loose side. You've probably seen that. And that can cause, after you slit, that can cause a web to move side to side slightly. And that's the precise reason why you want slit separation because you see how this web wandered a little bit 
to this side, what would happen if this web wandered to that side? It would actually overlap. And then when you try to rewind them onto a single rewind shaft, those, overlap, those edges would overlap and you can't get the rolls apart. That's the whole reason why you want slit separation. This particular web, this, this slit happened to, to wander a little bit this way. But any one of these slits can wander right to left as they're being rewound because once you slit a roll of material, each separate web turns each separate slit width turns into its own web in essence. So it can move around just like any other web in any machine. And it doesn't have to move around a lot to overlap the width next to it. And in that case, again, when you go to rewind it, you're going to cause trouble when you try to separate those rolls because you're going to have edge, you're going to have rolls interleaving with each other, edge overlap. So what both rolls do is they, they separate slit widths. The way they do it is a board roll I'm going to adjust this bow roll, and as this bow, as I do that, this bow roll is actually going to bow. And as it bows, um, what happens is each slit width will try to maintain a 90 degree angle to the curved axis center line of the bow roll. There's a web handling principle that states a web will seek to, to be 90 degrees to a roll in its entry span to that roll. So if you have if you have a roll that's skewed to another roll in the machine a web will actually bend out of its normal running plane in order to maintain a 90 degree angle to that roller. Well, bow rolls use that operating principle in order to separate slit widths because when you bow this roll, the center line, if you lay it out geometric, geometrically, the center of this slit width will try to maintain a 90 degree angle to the bow of this direction, and the center line of this slit width will try to maintain a 90 degree angle to the bow in this direction. That's how they work. I've talked about this in many presentations. I've written articles about it. I've done slides. I've done all kinds of presentations on this. But now you're actually going to see it for real in, in a real application. So we're going to turn this machine on. Now, right now, like I said, this bow roll is not adjusted. Now, over here, um, actually on this side, you'll see it. Um, I'm going to adjust. This is a mirror image of the other side. I'm going to adjust this screw on the other side and I'm going to bow the roll. It doesn't matter which side I adjust, the bow is evenly distributed across the face width. We just put the adjustment of both ends here. Your operator has the convenience of being able to adjust the bow from either side. So what we're doing when we adjust this bow, I've, I've done a separate video on how the adjustment is made, so you may want to watch that. But we have to use a big wrench. We need a lot of torque because we're actually, when we adjust this screw, we're actually bending shafts, steel shafts within the bow roll to get it to, to get it to bow. So as you will see, I'm going ahead and I'm going to adjust this. And then you're going to see those sep those slit with separate. Alright, so now you can see that they're all separate. Now, a couple of things about geometry, about bow rolls. Um, keep in mind, the longer this lead-in distance, which is unsupported web to the bow roll, the more spreading action you'll get. Whether you're taking out wrinkles or separating slit widths, the more uh, aggress aggressive this action will be, the longer this distance is. That lead we call it lead-in distance. That's unsupported web to the roll. On the output side, you want to try to keep that as short as possible because you don't want, if it's a wrinkle problem, you don't want wrinkles coming back, and you also don't want the slit widths trying to come back together again. Now, as I adjust this bow roll, you're going to see this slit separation get greater. Right now, there's a certain amount of bow, but I'm going to adjust that to get even more bow, and you're going to see slit separation increase. So as you can see, as I'm adjusting this, you can see a large difference now in that slit separation. They got much wider apart. So that's how bow rolls work, and that's how the adjustment works. Um, one other adjustment I'm just going to briefly mention to you, this CAC manufactures this adjustable bow roll we have as an option. We have this um, adjustable mounting bracket that as you turn this knob, 
you can actually adjust where that bow is, um, where it attacks the web. So I have right now I have the bow facing in the downstream direction, but if I wanted to, I could pivot that bow up just by turning this knob. So I have that in another, again, right on CAC's website, there's a separate video that shows exactly how to do that. So I hope you appreciate um, how the, uh, hope you liked the video and, and to show you how bow rolls operate. Thank you.